Hey everybody, how you doing today? Nice to see y'all. Welcome to a brand new episode of Wrap It Out today. I'm here with a duo here today, Reggie and Carl. Say hey. Hello, 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 hello. How's it going? Nice to meet you guys. Thanks for coming. Why don't you give the audience a little, little taste, a little taste about yourself? Reggie, do you want me to go first, or do you want to go first? You can go first if you want. Well, I'm a I'm Reggie's pocket producer. At any moment, he'll hit me up. We'll be like, "Yo, we need to make this hit." I'll be like, "Yo, I'm on it." And we go up. We get on call for how number hours we're on it, and we just cook up. Like just last night, we were cooking up some stuff that y'all should see very soon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hello, my name is Reggie Fe. Uh, my artist name. I am a hip hop artist. Uh, I make melodic sounds to hard lyrical sounds anywhere in between um and i i could say by the end of this year i'm gonna be um pretty established in the game and i'm probably gonna be on the map by then nice man i heard some of your music or at least at least i've heard some of your music and you guys are pretty incredible Thanks for yep. the kind words. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. That's all. That's all we're here for. Kind words. That's all here. That's all. Okay. All right. Let's get to the action. All right. So we're gonna travel back in time a little bit into the past, and so I want to kind of know like how did the journey with music start? Um. Well. My journey with music started kind of, I, I have to say, my dad, uh, he, he played a lot of like oldie hip hop music. Um, besides, you know, the classics, uh, it was mainly just hip hop. And when I, I, I didn't really fully get into like studying a, a music and, and the artists um, until a couple years ago, but I've every every time like i wanted to personally listen to my own music since i was about seven i would always just listen to anything hip-hop related and it's just kind of made me study study hip-hop more and more and i feel like that's 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 a big help now that i'm becoming an artist like i can kind of tell which what worked and what and what doesn't in for other people who've already tried the same thing oh nice i feel you i definitely do and I personally enjoy your journey of music. And I can see now that, that, that the music is kind of like a medicine, I can tell. Yeah, um, it's it's definitely it's definitely a big help to listen, you know, to listen to the stuff that you that you're that you're producing or that you're making. Um, and also just, you know, as long as long as I can remember, hip hop's been the main genre I've listened to. So it's definitely a big help. That's a good thing, man. That's a good thing. That's a really good thing. <laughs> um, and this is to the duo. How did you two become friends? Like, how did that start? How did you two become friends? How did he become your producer? I want to know it all. Well, it it was it was um it was main it was basically a friends of friends kind of thing. Uh, I I randomly was playing a video game you know online on ps4 and i joined a party of this group of people who now i know as like my true you know irl friends and uh, carl here was a friend of that group of people and i told one of the main you know in, in the main group i told one of them hey i want to i'm thinking about becoming an artist a rapper and um he was like super supportive of it and he went out of his way to go talk to Carl here and say, he says, you know, he comes back to me and says, hey, I, I may have a producer for you if you if you're interested. And then that's how I met, got to know Carl. And now we're friends. Oh, nice. That's yeah, really nice. Exactly the story. <laughs> that's really nice because you got a powerful friendship. That's really sweet. I totally respect that. I totally feel you. I mean, that's how me and ecstasy are 
of course, X is not here, but that's how many that's how many XT's friendship is. So I totally feel that one hundred percent. I definitely do. <laughs> um, my God. Um, my God, my brain fried. Uh, so what kind of inspired you to get into music? Like, how did you get so interested? Um, well, what inspired me probably would be, uh, I'd say every time, especially when I got closer and closer to being, you know, over 18 and, and realizing that the original career I wanted to do, uh, was not something I wanted to do anymore. Every time I heard like a hit song and a, and a, especially in hip hop. And I heard a song that was like really, really good. Like everyone basically have heard the song by then. It, it it just kept inspiring me more and more to to want to make my own music and eventually get to the level of making a hit song like that. Like uh, my first ever song, technically I've done is a remix of a of another hit song, um, and that's just because I was inspired by songs like that so much that I just wanted to recreate that energy that I got from listening to the song originally. So every, I guess every time there's like a new, you know, hit song, it just makes me more and more think like, I, I want to do that kind of thing until I started doing it. Oh, wow. Nice. That's really cool, man. Man, it's really cool. And would you consider that moment kind of like the trigger point that made you decide to get in music? Like, would you consider that like the trigger point? Uh, my trigger point definitely was when i heard the song uh what's poppin um i know a lot of people have heard that song and it's it's a song that's been heavily remixed by a lot of artists so when it came out i you know when it first came out the original i was like this is cool you know this is really good and then the remix that you know the artist made a remix of it and I was like, this is really cool. And then every, like, other artists and stuff started remixing the, the beat. And I was like, this is great. Like, this is kind of like a community type thing. Like, everyone's doing this remix. It was a really, like, in my opinion, it's like a really great song, you know. Um, and it, it was just like, I, I, I have to, like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to continue doing music, but I just want to see how making music is. And when I, you know me seeing how it is was me remixing that beat and it, it turned out really well and i you know kept kept doing it started making my own music and stuff oh i see wow so what's popping must have had a big impact on your music career yeah you can say that <laughs> yeah i mean if you knew at that moment this is a song and you were so interested. I mean, that's very powerful when another musician inspired you. That's that's really that's really powerful. It's really amazing. It's incredible. I really I really like that. <laughs> what's what's crazy is that the the artist who made that song is not that much older than me. Like I don't even think we're a year apart. So it's it's pretty crazy that, you know, he, he did something, he's my age made me think, you know, I could be that person in a in a year or two, you know. Mm, I see. Oh, so you're about you're about 40, 50. No, no, no. The guy, the guy who made what's popping is uh actually 19 and I'm 19. So, oh. um, you know, we're we're he's pretty young. Oh, okay. Got you. you. I didn't know that was his age. Okay. I did not know that was his age. Interesting. Uh, um, okay, so okay, this is kind of like a little alternating. Um, what would happen if you were not a musician? Like, who would you be? Like, what happened if you were not a musician? Um, if I wasn't a musician, I'd probably end up um, either being a chef uh, because I did spend like in 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 high school and, and I spent a semester in college. Uh, I spent a lot of time doing studying culinary and being a chef. Um, but then I realized that that wasn't like my direct line of work. Like, I, I, I guess it was like, I knew that I wanted to do some sort of fine arts type job, 
and which cooking is, but it wasn't, you know, I guess I wanted to go in more of the music route of fine arts. Um, so I'd probably end up being a chef at some point. Hmm. Chef. Okay, that's a new one. I never heard chef. Okay, that's a, that's a new one. Um, I wonder why a chef, though. Like, no friends or anything. Like, just are you interested in cooking, or like, is that like an alternate, alternate kind of career thing? Um, I'm really well, especially after being in it for so long. I'm really into cooking. Um, what started it and what made me realize younger that I wanted that I may want to do cooking is my my dad was kind of like he, he was a little bit like and not in a negative way but he was a bit lazy when it comes to uh like wanting to cook he would still cook <laughs> but you know he he and he didn't want to most of the time and i always thought that cooking was was cool as a kid before i could even see above the stove so um you know i i told him one you know i want i want to learn how to cook and then he started teaching me how to cook when i was like 7 or 8 um and i just always thought cooking was cool now now it just turns out to be just you know a hobby more than anything mm, okay but i can i can see the passion in cooking i could definitely envision you as one yeah a lot well people said that you know the the dishes i made were pretty pretty good i could have been a pretty good chef <laughs> Uh, no kidding. <laughs> no kidding. Uh, all right. Um, and this is kind of like an opinion, like, okay, no. The wish. Or maybe not. Okay, the point is, uh, um, so what would be your dream collaboration? It, and it's both of you guys, actually. You po- you both probably have, co- have people you want to collab with. I'll let you go first, Carl. Uh, there's so many. I mean, I guess, I guess collaboration, like what, like, uh, like co-producing with somebody or like actually having like an artist, like on, you know, my beat, like a, like a super famous artist. Cause there's plenty, I could think of plenty for that, but I maybe, maybe since I'm more producer wise, maybe I should go the producer route. There's, there's a lot. Like if, if I can get, if I can get on a beat with like, uh, to make a beat with like Alchemist or if I can make a beat with Sophie there's so much producers that I just, they inspire me and to have them on like the same track, that would be absolutely legendary for me. Like I could die happy at that point. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> for me, it it's kind of the same, like it's kind of the same thing Carl was going to say if you went the artist route, because there's so many artists that I, I would, I would love to, you know, collab with. Uh, I honestly would probably say just because of how it how how I learned that I I kind of tend to write lyrics is very similar to this artist. Um I would have to say Eminem just because he's he's a very like lyrical person um and I I feel like I can learn a lot from him just from maybe even like one song. Mm. Nice choices. And Eminem again. That's number eleven. He's inspired a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I heard Eminem times though. It might it might be more or less than eleven, but it's multiple times. Let's just say that. I mean, he doesn't make me sick or anything. It's so just I, uh, it goes. it's just I appreciate a variety. I could go the unique route and say an artist that probably no one has said and go Montana three Montana of three hundred because I would uh, he's a more like underground indie artist but he's definitely someone I would love to feature or yeah collaborate with. Hmm, an indie indie artist. Nice. Didn't hear that one. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Now, this is to both of you again. Um, have you ever gone through a music blog, or if you don't know what a music blog is, a writer's blog? Like a block? Like 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 when we're like we're at like a stalemate, like we can't produce anything, or like we're just stumped on something? Yeah, basically. Uh, I mean, that happens so much. I mean, Reggie could tell you that. Probably like the one thing that I always hate dealing with, dude is always going to be snares. I hate snares. 
I hate snares with a passion because I'll, I, I'll, like, I'll kill everything about the beat and then it comes to snares and I just cannot get, I cannot get over it for like an hour. Like, dude, how do I do my snares? How do I want to do my snares for this beat? And that's like my main block. I mean, in terms of like uh, Reggie's writer block, I mean, I don't know. Because a lot of times he'll just be like, yo, this is finished. Send it to me. So I, I don't know. You could probably tell you that. Um, yeah, I, I, and like, I've only, like, I've started, uh, writing songs for only two to three months, but, um, I, I, it's very rare. Like, I, I've learned a lot about myself in those two, three months writing music. It's very rare for me to ever get, like, a block just because I, uh, I have, I, I, I know ways to, to kind of, like, immediately get me out of that block um in different in different situations the only time that i've said that i truly have had writer's block where nothing can save it is uh if i'm like i I, i'm emotional either angry or sad to the point of like i don't want to do anything but that's like bare like that's only happened like maybe once um and it only stays that way for a couple hours or so and then i get right back to it i really haven't had many many blocks like that oh okay i see already you're hard not to crack i see when it comes to music i see but that's a good thing you don't have a model writer's block that means you always know what to write which is which i gotta say is impressive okay i gotta say that's really impressive yeah, I, I like I learned from a lot of different, you know, bef- before I got into like just a little bit before I got into trying to rap, I I researched a lot about what what I, you know, what I should do, what makes a good rapper, uh how to write better, things like that. And out of all that time, I've gotten, you know, I I've just I, like absorbed all of the information and writer's block is definitely a problem that like a lot of people deal with and there's there's things that people do individually that help them deal with the block and i you know use a combination of all of those tools that they shown everyone else so it doesn't really affect me as much mm, see and and nice work on uh, on the combination thing and that's that's really nice, man. That's really unique. Um, how you kind of strategize on fixing writer's block. It's actually pretty amazing. I really am impressed. I am super impressed. <laughs> okay. Now, um, now I want to know this. Okay. Um, now we're going to be digging in your brain a little bit. Um, and to your mind, um, so, how do you and Carl write a song? Like, what's the creative process like? Um, I, I guess, uh, I guess Carl should start that one. I think. Yeah, you can go, Carl. The first first step of the creative process, it's got to be super late at night, cause cause nothing gets done if it's not late at night. It has to be late at night, right? I think I think us being up late just makes it so much better because uh i don't know we're kind of like kind of like come on we got to get through this with that mentality so we could hit the bed we got to go to sleep you know what i mean like that type of mentality comes mm-hmm. in your head and then it's like and it's like okay then i'll ask reggie i'll hit reggie with the golden question what type of vibe are we on what what do you want to what type of beat should we make like uh like yesterday we were like i was like reggie i need i need you to tell it to me as straight as possible west coast beat or what and he was like yeah west coast beat let's make a west coast beat so we go up, I do it, he's there, he's present for the process to see like everything go down. He'll hit me with uh he'll hit me with a, oh maybe you change this up a bit. Maybe you could change the melody a little bit. Maybe you can remove some chords. Try that. Try this. Maybe switch the hats up. And then, you know, after a while we finally hit that. And then, you know, of course Reggie will be mumbling to himself like some lyrics that he has ready for it. And then shh, day or two later we'll find the finished product in uh I'll find the finished product in my inbox. Yeah, and it's just uh, honestly the process is super fun, and I wouldn't change anything about it to be honest. Um, yeah, that's yeah, that's basically how how like the the beat making and stuff like goes on. It's it's usually um, 
and just for beats like in general it, it for me it would be usually like i would find the beat first and then um i would start begin to write on the on it like a beat that i feel like i could vibe with at the moment because and there's and it also depends um it's kind of i usually have like a display of instrumentals open depending on the day because there's one day i could i could be vibing with this beat and then the the next day i could just like not like that beat anymore um and so i just have like a display on at all times and whichever beat i'm feeling the moment i just begin to write and it you know, I end up just kind of, yeah, just, just like how Carl was saying, I usually mumble, mumble freestyle until, until those were, you know, until the mumbling becomes words and I kind of change it up a little bit until, until basically the full, the full version of the, of the song is finished. And I usually get that done in, uh, a, you know, a day, two days, if I have work that day. <laughs> hmm. Nice. And I like your career process, you guys. Nice. You know, are really great friends, I can tell. <laughs> and I also like that you guys are a medium with your music with your music. Like first well, I gotta make this comment. Well, first of all, I found it a little bit strange that you guys wait until late at night to do your music. Kind of weird, but I it's guess we're all yeah. It's not that it's like uh, it's not that it's like we wait. It's more so that that's usually when we're perfectly available and we can mm-hmm. definitely get stuff done. And, and I and honestly, because because I'm a, a overnight worker, I work you know graveyard shift, so I'm usually awake at that time anyway. If you if you asked me at like, you know, uh, three p.m. two p.m. to do something, I probably wouldn't be fully awake yet to do it. Um, and I you know I feel like I'm my most creative when i'm in my room at like 1 a.m and you know and we could figure things out together i'm 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 very like i i feel like i have a mild case of adhd low-key like i i'm very random so i I, i'm i I take that randomness and turn it into creativity usually around that time Mm. i see makes sense makes sense i stay up i get that's really unique, you guys. That's really nice. And I can't believe you guys wrote a song in like days. I've heard musicians do in like weeks or I think I think one of them said months. I like you guys are so like connected. Well, I, and I'm sure that there's going to be times and there's going to be the songs that will take, you know, longer than a couple weeks. Um I I know people that have had like hit songs that they say that they worked on and it's taken them about like a year or so to like actually have the time to get it fully finished and get it out there. And that's fine. Um, I like to go like, you know, the quality version of songs more than, more than anything. I just feel like most of the time by the end of like that day, maybe I need like a couple tune ups here and there, but by the end of that day, I already have like that song fully the best that I think I can make it. Um, but I, but I'm I'm sure there's gonna be times where it's gonna take me, you know, longer than that, and I you know it's not gonna really affect me that much. Mm, I see, got you. I see, I see. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, my brain's fried again. Uh, oh, okay. Um. So how would you describe the music that you make? Like, what, uh, so, describing music to me, like, how would you describe it? Um, I'd say definitely very lyrical. I, I make, in terms of beats, which is kind of why I, I uh, you know, me, me and Carl are still, like, at times we're working on getting our like synergy together, but I feel like once we get that down, we're like, we're an unstoppable duo. Um, but he knows that I, I like 808s out of all the, the, the keys to make a beat. I like 808s the most. And then hi, ha, uh, like hats are like the, like close second. Um, most of my songs that are, you know mainly just singles if i don't have like a direct direction for them 
uh, usually has decent amount of hats and decent amount of base. And I just um, stick with my punchlines. Like when I when I when I write my lyrics, I definitely try to make try to make punchlines and try to make verses that catch your attention. I've had people listen to my uh, you know my songs live before, and they 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 always say like, you know, one second I could tune out for like a second, and then I would they say like if they tune out for just like a second, they can hear something that'll immediately capture their attention again. And it's just, you know, exciting for them. So very, a very, a very lyrical person. Uh, I also try, I'm trying to get into the catchy side of things, but you know, most mainly it's just, I say things that'll get you kind of more in tune with the song. Mm, I see. You're, you're saying mine so unique and different. I appreciate that. I really appreciate that. <laughs> I really do. All right. Oh my god, my brain's fried again. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Thanks for the input, you guys. Um. All right. Now here comes something fun. Um. I know this is a little bit silly to ask, but I need to make sure. Um. Do you guys, are you guys, like, rappers or, like, hip-hop? Like, do you guys sing or, like, you guys rap or, like, both? Uh, I, I mainly just rap. I can, I can do slight melodies, but I, I'm not, I'm not a singer. Oh, okay, I see. Got you. Okay. Okay. It's been a while since a rapper came on here. Okay. Um, time for some fun. Okay, so it is towards the end, but there's one thing you got to do, and it's tradition. It's something that everybody does. I for you to wrap it out. Oh, I got to wrap? Yes. Let's, let's go. It, okay. Both of, you guys to, both of you guys to do it. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Wait, hold up. I'm, I'm, I'm a producer. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I can't. I can't. <laughs> well, you got it, Carl. No way. I'll I'll give you. I'll, I'll let you do it first. Wait, 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 wait. But I'm a producer. I make the beats. I don't rap on them. It's okay. It's okay, Carl. You got it. <laughs> Bro, I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. No, just, Reggie. just say like some, just say some. Okay, just say one like four bars. <sighs> am I allowed to say like? Am I allowed to rap some unreleased stuff that I have? Yeah, sure. Come on. The audience is waiting. They're not going to sit around. Hold on, hold on. Can I, can I rap one of my favorite verses written, like, made by somebody? No. Got to be original. Uh, That'd be karaoke, and we're not doing karaoke. Besides, I don't want to listen to karaoke. Uh... Look, I can tell you're horrible, but come on, it'll be fine. Besides, I've met rappers worse than you. Um, what's it called? Uh, can I rap a verse in Spanish? Um, sure, I guess. Okay. All right. It's original, then I guess. That's something new. I never heard a verse in Spanish. <laughs> That'd be something new. Okay, okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Give me a second. Give me a second. Let me just try and remember it real quick. Uh, okay. Let me see. Oh, come on. I is waiting, and I can't clear this. I can't clear the silence. It's getting creepy. Te dejo sangrando como clamato. Yo corro el caca como el indio tonto. Usted es una tonto. Con poder como el hog te rompo. Hmm. Nice. Yeah, nice. <clears throat> nice little taste. All right, are you ready? All right. Yeah, hit me. This is something I got that should be coming out pretty soon. <clears throat> 
I want to be independent. Have my face on a pendant. Have my own private plane. Fucking on the flight attendant. Not just by hopping on trans. I want to be representing all of my followers. People who follow up every time I drop a single. To all of my followers, I'm going to acknowledge you. We finna pot like a pimple. I want to be hot as a devil. Want to be a big one. My foot on the pedal. Don't give a fuck how long it takes on my car. Don't got brakes. I want to earn a medal. Don't want it to be accidental. I want it to be continental. Working on improving my mental. Reaching a new level. That beats I got several. Yeah. Yeah, cause I put them in a grave, had so many hard days, so many ride my wave, legacy will never age, I want F.E. engraved, yeah, yeah, I want F.E. on the chain, people wanna pick my brain, wonder what my thoughts contain, I'll go out of my way, to go and brighten your day, but don't call me no hero, I don't got no cape, yeah, yeah, I like the beats with the bass, haters try and degrade, calling me a disgrace, nigga who the fuck are you, get the fuck out my face, just keep doing you, and stay out of my way, yeah, yeah, just wanna make a disclaim, I am not no clone, stay the fuck in your lane, you're lucky I don't drop names, trying to ruin my day, I got hits on the way. Bitch, I'm trying to make waves. I want to be independent. Oh, nice. Hand clap. Both of you guys, hand clap. Y'all look very well. I'm impressed. I got to say, I'm really impressed. Good job, you both. I appreciate it. I appreciate thanks it. For, thanks, for, thanks for having me on. <laughs> Even though I embarrassed myself at the end. Uh, not really, Carl. Actually, that's the first verse I ever heard in Spanish, so you did not embarrass yourself. You gave this podcast um, a new taste, which is a thing we're aiming for, is a different taste. That's why we're inviting different musicians, so you didn't embarrass yourself. You gave us a new taste, which is something that we, that um, this podcast really needs. Uh, I'm waiting for somebody to translate it after the show. Let's see what people came up with or what I actually said. Hmm. Actually, we should make that a challenge. Okay. Yeah, you just got my brain flowing for a bit. That that can actually be a challenge. Okay. Okay, you just got my brain flowing. I just got an idea. I'm not going to say it now because I'm not going to spoil things. I'm not going to spoil things, but uh, that is a good idea because I got a little something. A little something. Okay. <laughs> Got something for that. All right. <laughs> um, besides that little note, I just want to say a big thanks to you both for coming. I really, really, really appreciate it. Oh, I'm glad I, to be yeah, here. I appreciate it also. This was an awesome, honestly, an awesome experience. Thank you. No problem, man. And since we're a little bit towards the end, would you like to say any last words to your fans? Any shout outs? Any advice to kids out there? Honestly, just aim for your dreams. I mean, I'm doing it, you know? And it's like a, just like a quick little disclaimer to everybody. Like, people who are just trying to work a job when they're really not happy. There's honestly no point. Do what you want to do. Be happy, you know, doing what you want to do. And that's like what I'm doing right now with like making beats. Like, you know, let's be honest here. I could be like working for like FedEx or something, but I wouldn't be happy doing that shit. No way. So I might as well just do what I want to do right now, and then, you know, and then deal with the hardships if they come. But uh, definitely, you know, do what you want to do and be happy about it. You know. Nah, and I uh, to to second on that. Um, I mean, look what me look what me and Carl are doing right now. You know, we're 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 new producers and artists. Uh, and we have aspirations to make it big. Like, I have no doubt. I mean, this could sound as egotistical. Whoever's hearing this could sound as egotistical as it may, but I have no doubt that you're going to eventually hear me on the radio, on, you know, see me on the recommendation on the on YouTube or on Spotify or something. And if you, you know, if you don't, if you don't achieve your dreams, you can't get to that level, and you have to do things that, you know, you... You, you have you have to you have to push out of your comfort zone. You can always work a nine to five job. There's going to be nine to five jobs, you know, anytime. I'm I'm working a job still while I'm doing this. I'm 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 earning the money from that job to you know, af- to afford to pay for the things I want to do with music. Um, if, if you if you want to be something that sounds fucking crazy to to do, if that's what you want to do, then go and do it. My my. My dream uh, is 
to be, you know, one of the top 10 rappers of all time at some point. And that sounds fucking insane to say. People are going to be like, there's no way. But they're always going to be like, there's no way until I make it there. And I know I'm going to make it there. You have to have that mentality. Uh, anyway, I love you guys. Nice, nice advice, you guys. I totally follow up on that, y'all. Y'all should definitely listen to that. That is um, that is true shit there. Very true. Very, very true. And thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. And thanks for the little advice. It's really, it's amazing. That's how we think every day. We have these conversations with each other yeah. all the time. All the time. Hmm. Great minds think alike, I see. And I'm glad to our uh, friends. And I really and I hope you guys stay that way for a long time, which is probable it's gonna happen. Which is probable. No doubt. Probable, it's definite. Oof. Ooh, I see. Okay, let me change that. It's definite. There okay, go. it's not probable, it's definite. There which go. is a great thing, you guys. It's really good. It's really, it's really good that you guys are doing your team. That's a that's great precision. That's really something uh, more people should do. More people should really do that, especially you know ones that are, are falling falling right now. Yeah, I I, I totally uh, I totally respect like the people who you know you see them on on facebook or on other social media and they say you know i moved out of my parents house and i moved to the big city uh to achieve my dreams and stuff i always totally respect those people even if it doesn't go the way that they think it does um it's definitely i I respect the people for doing that that's something that you know it's totally cool for for someone to do Even, even if it even if it doesn't end up working out it's still like it's great that you're thinking that way Mm-hmm. I totally agree. I couldn't agree more, 100%. Can I agree more? All right, y'all out there, thank you guys for watching. Just a few, you know, little messes, just a little few updates. There are loads of, there's loads of episodes. I believe the month of January and February are filled with episodes. Make sure you guys watch that. And make sure you guys follow us on social media here. Carl and Reggie, please help us with promotion. Drops. You said oh, you want please. us. To, you said you want us to drop our uh, social social media. Yeah, kind of promote on your social media. You know, uh, say something like check this check out uh, check out our uh, interview out like something on Insta when this drops. Just a little help of advertising. Oh yeah, definitely check this out. You know. Oh yeah, no, for sure check this out. It's definitely an eye opening interview. It's great. It's, it's a good interview. Yeah. Mhm. Absolutely, y'all. Absolutely. Absolutely. Make sure you check out Reggie's music. He's absolutely amazing. You just saw him rock right now. I mean, and let me just tell you, if you're not listening to Reggie, if you're not listening to these guys, if you don't even care about them, then you're idiots and you're super sad and you won't go anywhere. If you aren't listening to me, don't worry, because you will soon. (laughs) There we go. Yeah, I guess I guess I I guess that makes more sense. I guess uh, it's a little nicer. But seriously, y'all check him out. Y'all seriously listen. Please do. Seriously. Reggie FE on all platforms. Look me up anywhere. Have the same logo. Don't worry about it. You guys, you guys can all check me out. And I got my YouTube, so that's pretty much it. Same name on YouTube. Awesome! I'll be sure to get those links in the description. Don't worry, y'all. I know you guys don't like searching the internet, so these links will be in the description. I know how you guys think. No worries. (laughs) I feel you. So, a big thank you to you both. I love you guys so much. I love your music. And I can't wait to see what the future has in store for you both. I'm super excited to see how you two turn out. (laughs) I appreciate it. Uh, just give me, give me it. a couple of years. You'll, you'll see. Mm, oh, I, I see. I see you, big man. I see you. 
I see you. And I hope you enjoy a little serve or you can talk to some of the other artists and maybe collab with them. A lot of the artists in the server are really good. They're um, fantastic. Oh yeah, I'm totally down. Uh there was someone who it was was in your one of your past uh interviews that I uh reached out to him on Instagram and I think we're trying to collaborate. His name is uh Ave Avon or Avila, maybe? Oh, Maven Avila. Yeah, that yeah. Um I'm kinda trying to collab with him in a, like a mixture of genres. Oh, okay, that's nice. That's really fantastic. I Fantastic. I can't wait for that. That's going to be a banger. Yeah, I hope so. I'm so excited. Y'all got me getting happy feet right here. Reggie, you just did it. You just got me getting happy feet. I'm dancing. Like, you can't see it, but... Well, I'm... Like, I'm super happy. <laughs> God. <laughs> anyway, beside a little tidbit, thank you guys for watching and enjoying this. Make sure to check out the other other episodes, follow us on social media, check these two guys out. If you're not, then your brain is, your brain's broken and you need to go fix it. Here's to y'all. Have a good day, you guys. Love y'all so much. See you guys later. Bye, y'all. See you.